Marcellus Wiley um, from FS1's Speak for Yourself talked about whether he thought Baker Mayfield deserved to be in the NFL's top 100. Mayfield was number 71. Heck no. You got to earn what you eat out here. You eat what you kill. Baker Mayfield ain't killed enough being no top 100. Let me kill Acho's first point, though. He said, oh, well, there were eight quarterbacks that um, won playoff games last year. So, yeah, you got to respect them. And Baker Mayfield was one of them. Russell Wilson didn't win a playoff game last year. Deshaun Watson didn't win a playoff game last year. Dak Prescott didn't win a playoff game last year. I think they belong in the top 100. But Baker Mayfield, oh, you ain't getting in just because your team is great and you kind of good. That ain't going to get it. Now, y'all want to know what my resume looked like? Yeah, I was in the top 100 twice. I was in the top 50 twice. Number 38, number 44. Damn right. We ain't had no ceremony. They ain't had no big reveal. They just put it out there. Okay, so I know what I'm talking about here. I also know that Baker Mayfield has never been to a Pro Bowl. Including last year, since Otto told me to stay focused on last year. No Pro Bowl last year in this amazing year. No Pro Bowl. No Pro Bowls, no Go-Go's. That's how I think about it right now. But speaking of the Pro Bowl, because this is a list of 100 players, and Baker Mayfield shouldn't be on it, because if you think about it, he's not even a top 10 quarterback. If you're not a top 10 quarterback and there are relatively 22 positions on the football field, offense and defense. You do the math and tell me if Baker Mayfield should be top 100. And I had to do a little research here. And I came up with the understanding that there are 265 active players that are pro bowlers. And y'all trying to tell me that Baker Mayfield should be in the top 100 when he's not even one of those guys? I think it's important to note the top 100 is voted on by NFL players. <laughs> has a has a little bit more credibility than uh, than somebody sitting behind a desk like me. You know I love Marcellus Wiley uh, m- most of the time. How he could mention Deshaun Watson, given all that's surrounding Deshaun Watson right now, the reports are that he's not even going to play for the Houston Texans, uh, and. and He's, you know, neck deep in all kinds of legal trouble and all these allegations. So I don't know why Wiley would mention Deshaun Watson at this particular time. I get his overarching point, though, about the Bake Show really, you know, hasn't proven anything uh, on a significant level, Pro Bowl being one of them. Um, Yeah, he, he hasn't been to a Pro Bowl, and he hasn't strung together uh, at least two great seasons in a row. Yes, he had the rookie touchdown passing record and, and looked good, but then he fell off in 2019 before rebounding in 2020. So I'm okay with somebody saying, hey, he doesn't deserve the top 100 until he puts together back-to-back really good years. Um, but I can also understand how he could get in there. Well, I mean, the players voted on it. I did. Yeah. That's so the guys that are going against him thought he was they good enough like to be him. on the top 100, so he can be on the top 100. I mean, that's it's it's pretty simple. Hey, it's not way, like Dave. it's not like we're randomly picking names out of a hat or we're asking media people who have a bias. It's the guys that are playing against him. Yeah, and, and by the way, Dave, um, none of it matters when uh, yeah when the game starts. It, it doesn't matter if you're top two, top 100, top 500. Yeah. You got to win games. 